they're working away in the pits. I don't know what happened. It could have something to do with the custom controller they built. It could be anything. But they had a solid lead until the power just dropped away from the car. One minute the driver change, one minute the driver change. Remember guys, get your musty points in. Five more laps. His own Lilo and Stitch needs to overtake the leader. After such a commanding lead, Fubar had a 10 lap lead on everyone in their car broken. Now, it is up in the air. We said this at the beginning of the race. Just because a car pulls away doesn't mean the race is over. Anything can happen, and that anything is right now. Now four more laps for Lilo and Stitch on the Raider Mobile! <laughs> Raider Mobile's in the ball of heart there. That's gonna help out Fubar Labs. That's gonna buy him a few seconds. Get the car back running, get it back underway, or get it off the track. We're back underway, but that's right on top of a driver change, about 17 seconds away. It's right there, pulling into the pit. Just two more laps for Lilo and Stitch to take the lead. They're going to get one more in, and then they're going to have the mandatory pit. Patrick, it's not just that, but now it's the one more. The mandatory pit's coming around. Interesting strategy, everybody. Patrick, that was a very interesting strategy. Rumble cards stay out just a bit longer to get another lap so that they can overtake Lilo and Stitch this time around. That was a brilliant strategy. Lilo and Stitch went in early. They went in later. They're counting on people clearing out before Lilo does. Let's see if it works out for them. Lilo and Stitch is now heading back out. It now really depends on how fast Waffle Card is because that was one lap difference. They gotta be faster than that Waffle Card. That's gonna be faster than that because Lilo and Stitch is about to take it. Are they racing the way? No, Lilo and Stitch has overtaken them again. And that Lilo, means Lilo, this Lilo, time Lilo, by, Lilo and Stitch are all on the same lap here. Lilo and Stitch is now your leader of the race. Now leading. But now Waffle Lilo, Card is in second place. All of that happening right away. Fubar Labs had a, if you just joined us, Fubar Labs had a 10 minute 10 lap lead on for Mario Kart. Uh, all over back around. And now the leader backed up with, with the Mario Kart. Kart. I don't know how he ended up backwards again. You gotta stop spinning out at that part of the track. You are going to get hit. There they go. Uh, that is terrifying every time that happens. Again, Mario, again. Mario, I don't know what's wrong with your car there, but you keep spinning out. You gotta get that fixed. You what, you got too much power? What's going on? No, they don't have any grip. They're oh, on plastic they tires. Grip. They put rubber around in the car. They expected that the last 75. We know it doesn't. Meanwhile, Patrick, the battle for the lead now is right in front of us. First and second, that Waffle Cart versus Lilo and Stitch. That is for the lead right there. First and second, Blue Martin setting up, looking for a chance to overtake any mistake if she can capitalize. That blue stair car definitely down on power, but they don't care. They know that. Oh, Lilo and Stitch gets into the wall. That means the Waffle Cart is taking the lead from that. She looked oh, at a no. gap that wasn't there. And now Fubar Labs is coming back out. Six laps down to the leaders. We've known that they are faster. So, Patrick, I believe the stage is set with 27 minutes remaining. That is the story for today. Waffle Cart, Lilo and Stitch versus Fubar Labs. That is the battle. But now, Waffle Cart is your leader. Waffle Cart is the leader right now. Lilo and Stitch, unfortunately, get into the wall. Will Fubar have the pace to pass them all, though? They might, Patrick, but they're going to have to really push it together for the 27 minutes, 26 minutes now. Yeah, that's right. Oh, and the Mario Kart backwards yet again. Patrick, I would start black flagging them. They're at the wrong part of the track, holding up everyone. Get that car off the track, I think. There we go. Uh, 
There we go. Patrick, I'm wondering if, if Fubar undertook, uh, made an overtake during caution. No, they're letting them by. They're avoiding the penalty. They're letting them by. Well, Mario Kart, I don't, I'm not sure if I want to see you on the track until you can solve that issue. It's a very dangerous thing to spin out in the middle of the highest speed part of the course. Five minutes into this race, and Waffle Kart is your leader. Leland Stitch in second place, and not that far behind. Fubar Labs has to make up six laps in the next 25 minutes. Right now, Waffle Kart has completed 168 laps during this race. They're on pace for 255. We were on pace for 270 laps to complete until Fubar had that issue. Fubar spending a long time in the pits earlier. They had a 10 lap lead on everyone, and they had to give up. Waffle Kart, you're as a proud Stitch is going to be in the lead then. Yep, this time by Lilo and Stitch is now your leader. With 24 minutes remaining, Waffle Kart pulled over. And now Fubar Labs can overtake him. I'm, I'm hearing a lot of uh, shouting in the crowd for the Wienermobile. Definitely a crowd favorite. It's currently in seventh place, uh, battling PS1 as part of a thousand faces. They could definitely make up that time depending on how PS1 does. I don't know if there's a hot dog vendor here in, uh, at the Maker Fair, but I imagine they'll be doing some good business. Waffle Kart losing the lead in that incident. Now Lilo and Stitch is your leader. And Fubar Labs is holding on. Fubar Labs has a five lap deficit. The Joker coming back out on the track. The Joker on the leader colliding into the wall on its own. That's back underway. Might want to get more tires over there. Pete's not looking very comfortable on that leader. No, I don't, I don't think so. Actually, I think that leader's probably getting really hot. It's been in the sun the whole time. Like. Actually, not even joking, it's been in the sun this whole time, so, like, I can imagine that. That fiberglass is definitely, because there's no padding, he's just riding that. He's probably adjusting his weight because it hurts. Just sheer pain. This late in the race and there's so much tire squeal going on. Oh, and the Mario Kart trying to get back on the out and crashes into someone else's pit stall. Oh no. Not giving me much confidence about them. Can they take it slow maybe? Oh yeah, <laughs> she's taking. I don't know if they can. I think that's the speed it goes. <laughs> I, I, I think she's having throttle issues. I believe so. I think that's what the problem is. Whoa! Uh, uh, expected, and the leaders get all beaten up from it. Yeah, she's the, the throttle is sticking. Yeah, she's got a sticky throttle. That's what the problem is. Uh, uh. Well, they're gonna have to fix that sticking throttle. We can't have that car on oh, the track no. like that. Waffle Kart second place has also been pulled off working on something. That's right, Fubar Labs now overtaking the Waffle Kart. The Fubar Labs is clawing its way back. Fubar Labs now in second place. Patrick, can Fubar catch Lilo and Stitch with 21 minutes remaining? Whatever the problem was, the Waffle Kart is hung on to second there. 
in and out of the uh, off the track. And poor Pete not having a good time sitting on that wiener. I think Pete's looking forward to the next driver change in about six minutes. Now with 20 minutes remaining, the Leela and Stitch Car 185 laps complete. Bubar Labs has been able to claw back two laps from the leaders. With now only four laps down to first place, they do have the pace, do they have the time? I think it really depends on the leaders right now. Leela and Stitch and Waffle Cart's putting down just slightly faster laps than Bubar. At the That's moment. true. I think it's because the Pumar's having to deal with some lap traffic. Yes, it's very true. Trying to keep it together. Out of the wiener, Rex! <laughs> oh, the wiener overcooked it into the wall there. Pete's all right. Thumbs up for Pete. <laughs> Pete fell off the wiener after yes, that one. Yes, he did. I was worried about that. Keep it going. I noticed the brakes in the wiener have been very questionable at best. It worked earlier this weekend. Uh-oh. I'm hearing a chain from Waffle Cart. That means second place is now going to go back to Fubar Labs. We've had some good racing in. It's the Power Racing Series. All these cars are built for less than $500. We race these things from coast to coast. All these cars are maxed out at 48 volts and just two horsepower. Vivo and Stitch holding on to first place. Fubar now passing the Waffle Cart for second place. Waffle Cart now down to third. Magic School Bus in fourth place. Car of a Thousand Faces in fifth. The Joker is in 6th place, the Wienermobile in 7th, the Bluesmobile in 8th, the Blue Stair Car in ninth. the Ford F-150 hasn't been out on the track for a long time, sticking in 10th place, same thing with the War Rig, died about 16 minutes in the race, Mario Kart, uh, unfortunately just got taken off, they got a stuck throttle, they're back down in 12th place, uh, if they could do just 2 more laps, they can overtake 10th. Duck tape and zip ties, they were out about 20 minutes in, down in uh, 13th place. The Minecraft ATV did a glorious five laps in the poor burger car. Less than two minutes they had on the track. Less than two minutes. Unfortunately, they're stuck down, down in 15th, last place. Only four laps under their belt. A real shame that they don't seem to be working on the car anymore. It looks like they may have given up on it. Just three minutes to our last driver change. This is a 75 minute endurance race. And every 15 minutes these cars come in and pit. And in the next three minutes, they'll all pit for the last time, change drivers, change costumes, change battery, get them something to drink, hydrate, put a little more mustard on their uh, wiener, and out they go again. We've got cars from all across the country, all the way far from uh, Pittsburgh and Milwaukee and New Jersey, or even right here in Kansas City. Unfortunately, both your favorite cars in Kansas City, the Ford F-150 and Duck Tape and Zip Ties. Those two cars, unfortunately, have been spending most of the race in the pits. They're gonna need moxie points. There's the moxie board going around. Go ahead and Vote for as many cars and as often as you like. It's Chicago style voting for our Moxie points. All of those button presses get turned into race points. So if you see a car do something cool, it's not just fast. Give them some help out here. Make it win the championship by doing something cool. The boost stair cars apparently pulling for the wiener car themselves. Both those cars from Milwaukee.
just a little over a minute to go in this last stint here. Lilo and Stitch now has a three lap lead above Fubar. Fubar has been clawing back with six laps down. He's had that now. It's all going to come down to this last pit, this last driver change in one minute. One minute to the last driver change. Everything's going to come down to that minute. It's going to be real tight, real close. Jim, what's the damage done with the burger? Looks like burger is going to be out for it. Oh, yeah, that's it. Uh, Carl, with those, those are bases. Bases. over. <laughs> How do you tip over when you race that low? I don't know. You're already on the ground. He's got the lowest CG out of any car. Still managed to flip it. Patrick, this last driver change is going to be very important. It is now a showdown between Lilo and Stitch and Fubar Labs. Right there, those two cars. Fubar Labs having an extensive pit stop when they were 10 laps ahead of everyone. And Lilo and Stitch clawed their way. But now, Fubar Labs is two laps, well, three laps ahead behind. Oh. She got away with it, the Mario Kart hanging on. Mario Kart with that overtaking 10th place. Uh, Mandatory driver change, last driver change here. This is it, folks. Pay attention to the neon green machine and Lilo and Stitch in the pits right now. This will go for everything. Oh, Patrick, it looks like Lilo and Stitch is going to need it. Is that a battery change? Yes, it is a battery change. That's going to be a big advantage to Fubar Labs. they got to be careful there. Does Fubar make a battery change or is it just a driver change? It's only two laps between the two of them, Fubar and then Lilo and Stitch. Yeah, every second counts, ladies and gentlemen. This is a huge pit stop. Lilo and Stitch got some body problems. Same thing with Fubar. Both of them look to be ready to go. Oh, they both get out at the same time! So as if they coordinated that. Patrick, it's just excellent.